prochirality is the discrimination of substituents on an achiral molecule that can be transformed into a chiral molecule with one of the substituents modification. We will contemplate the sp3 tetrahedral carbon. Where two of the substituents are the same, we can ascribe imaginary difference to them. The same substituents here are hydrogens. We will call them HA and HB. They are prochiral. Let's consider what would happen if either of these hydrogens was raised in priority to, say, a deuterium. First, we will imagine the consequence for the descriptor of HA being changed to deuterium. The resulting stereogenic center is S. Thus, HA is described as pro-S. Now, what about HB? Well, if we change HB to deuterium, the consequence is that the resulting stereogenic center is R. Thus, HB is pro-R. The imaginary deuterated molecules are enantiomers of each other. How about an sp2 trigonal planar structure? This ketone has two key faces. We will view it from the front and the back, ascribe priorities, and observe the direction, going from the highest to ultimately the lowest. First, from the front, we see this. Here are the priorities moving from highest through ultimately to lowest priority is a clockwise direction. This front face is described as re. What about the backwards direction? Here is what we see. Notice the methyl and the t-butyl groups are in the opposite locations. If we follow the priorities around from highest through ultimately to lowest. This time, the movement is anticlockwise. And the back face is described as psi. Re and psi are in no way linked to R and S. Another factor intervenes, and that is what is being added to the re psi molecule to produce the RS molecule. As an example, let's look at this ketone. We will carry out a hydrogenation with hydrogen approaching the re face of the ketone. This produces an alcohol, and after we've applied the priorities to the substituents, we can go from the highest priority to the third highest priority with a clockwise movement. However, the lowest priority is forwards, not backwards. Thus, here, clockwise relates to the S descriptor. What would happen if the same ketone is approached from the same face, Re, by hydrogen sulfide instead of hydrogen? If we prioritize the substituents on the product and consider the movement from highest priority to third highest priority, we again observe a clockwise momentum. As the lowest priority group is backwards, the clockwise direction results in an R descriptor. So same molecule attacked from the same face by different reagents can provide a different sense of stereochemistry in terms of R or S. What about this molecule? We will consider the lower carbon of the alkene. To prioritize all the substituents attached to this carbon, we must invoke a ghost carbon on the upper substituent. With the priorities assigned going from highest to lowest, we achieve an anti-clockwise movement. Thus, this perspective is the psi face. What about the upper carbon of the alkene? We invoke a ghost carbon on the lower substituent, and with priorities assigned, 
we see a clockwise motion when going from highest ultimately to lowest priority. Thus, we assign re to this face. So the same face of the molecule is re for the upper carbon and psi for the lower carbon of the same alkene. It's clear that there are no assumptions that can be made about re and psi. They must be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. Nor can we draw conclusions about the R or S products coming from the re or psi approach to a molecule by a reagent.